My name is Danielle Tate. I'm a physical therapist who specializes in vestibular rehabilitation, and I'm really excited today to show you Vestibular First's newest pair of infrared goggles. Vestibular First is a company that was started by a practicing physical therapist who also specializes in vestibular rehabilitation and her husband who helped design a pair of goggles to meet the needs that she needed in her clinic, which was a pair of uh, infrared goggles where she could look at patients' eyes up close and personal in the dark, but be able to afford it to ask her clinic to pay for them. So what they've created is this really great system that's easy to use, simple, but affordable to get other clinicians into vestibular rehabilitation. One of the new features of the new goggles is the rubber strap that have clippable inserts on the side, um, which is nice for easy release to get the patient out of the goggles, but I've also found it useful to put the patients in the goggles. I'll have the patient hold the goggles up to their face and I can bring the cord around and clip into the side and then adjust the straps. That way I can account for if the patient has a ponytail, it's difficult to get the band up and over their head, but now I can have the patient in there nice and secure. And the buckles on the side are really easy to adjust, to either loosen up the strap or just pull them tight. And then to get the patient out, nice quick release. Another feature of the new set of goggles that I really like is that you can take the front of the goggles off. So with the first version, I had a little bit of difficulty moving the patient from bedside evaluation, um, getting them up onto the table, to get them into positional testing. So in this case now, they got two little release buttons. You just push those. I can have the patient bring his legs up on the front of the table so he's sitting and facing that back wall. Once I get him ready to go for repositioning maneuvers, I can just pop them back on and we're ready to go. Um, aside from the nice new rubber strap, I really like the disposable foam insert that goes around the goggles. Um, they just Velcro right to the goggle itself, so you can change them after every patient use and then just put them back on. The nice thing about the foam too is it's pretty dense and really comfortable. It gets a really good seal around the patient's faces and there's not as much of a nose piece to pinch down on different patients' noses. A lot more foam there to make it more comfortable. So these definitely seem to be favorable um, for my patients when it came to comfort uh, due to that foam and then having that strap. Uh, another unique feature is you can add fixation right on the goggles. So there's little switches right on the top um, that say on and off, and you can switch them on and off for each individual eye to give the patient fixation while in the goggles uh, while recording their eye movements. So here's a good up-close look at the goggles themselves. You can see the clips on the side there, really easy to take off and put back on. You also have the foam of your goggles, which is pretty easy to take off, and you would put a new set on with new patients. You've got little buttons on the side here that release the cameras from the front of the goggles. And one, one smaller key that I really like, or piece that I like, was that they included a right and left label for the nose piece um, inside the goggles themselves. So you can see them on the software, which is also labeled, but I thought was really useful in case you're looking at a patient's eyes without the goggles themselves. So the software for Vestibular First was very easy to download and set up. They did a really good job on their website of putting together a tutorial step-by-step -step on how to set it up, what settings to use, the recommendations. So once you pull everything up, you have a couple of different options, which I like. Uh, you can look at just the left eye, just the right eye, or you can look at both. And then you have a couple other options too. You can look just at the room. You can do left with a room view. You can do just the right with the room view, or you can do both eyes with the room view. Uh, and they also have a great way to make sure that you've got a good picture of each eye. So as long as the patient's got his eyes opening, um, looking straight ahead, you can click on the pupil and drag it to the center of your um, view here so that you're able to make sure you've got everything um, squared up so that when you're working with the patient and the goggles move around, you have good vision of the, of the eyes throughout the entire testing. 
and it's really easy. Um, from here, you would just hit start recording. Um, then it, you can just hit stop when everything's all done. In order to review your videos, you would just go up to file and show recordings. All right, and it's gonna pull up the area that you have your recordings saved to. And then you can go in and either label them the way that you want or keep them just uh, time and date stamped for simplicity to be able to go back and look at patient videos. Overall, I think Vestibular First has put together a really, really good second version of their infrared goggles. They took all of the feedback they got from their first version from all the clinicians using their first set of goggles and they've really put that into a new version to make it a little bit more streamlined, usable, and uh, really great for patient use. Um, overall, I really, really enjoyed using this system. It was simple and easy to use. Uh, the patients really liked the technology and it was a great addition to our clinic. Thanks for watching this review. I hope it was helpful for you if you were considering getting goggles for your clinic. I want to personally thank Helena and Patrick for lending me their only pair of version 2 goggles for this demo. If you have a pair coming to you, uh, once they hit the market, you should be very excited. And if you want more information on where to check them out or purchase, be sure to check out the information in the description. Thanks!